Fall colors in the American Northeast has been a super popular subject matter for a lot of artists and photographers in the past and present, and with good reason. You get beautiful sweeping landscapes with incredibly vibrant yellow and orange foliage. When I was living in the West Coast, I knew it was impossible to even see something like this. And now that I'm living in New York, I knew I had to make a trip up north to see this for myself. A couple of us planned a trip to visit some old friends who happened to live in Maine near White Mountains National Park. We planned a nine mile hike which reached two summits which promised great views of fall colors. After a small fiasco at the airport which almost made us miss our flight, we finally ended up in Maine. Cheeto dust. Yeah, yeah, hot Cheeto dust. What? What? I can't do flaming hot Cheetos. 54 degrees. By the time we wake up and hike, 45. Probably in the mount White Mountains, it's gonna be like 40. What are you talking to? Hello. Yeah. Congrats. Let me send a hand. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, snap. Oh my god. <laughs> we almost missed our flight. Really? Where's the handle? There it is. Oh, I forgot about the flight. Oh. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> to stabilize that shot. <laughs> Look, wild beanies and bones. Whoa!
three miles downhill. It was rough. Well, this is really pretty. Back to the car. We did it. Oh, well, we did it. Made it back to the car. I started recording on my iPhone a bit because I got too lazy holding this Alpha 7S3. And it looks like we're taking off. We made it to the end. I'm trying to get monetized. <laughs> flew back to New York and I really couldn't wait um, to see my film, so I developed and scanned at home. And safe to say, I wasn't disappointed at all. Now to mention that I shot all the photos with my Voigtlander Bessa R4A. Now this is a Leica M-mount camera that's electronic, so I can go aperture priority mode. They make a mechanical mode for this, and there's three editions, the R2A and M, the R3A and M, and R4A and M. And they all come with different frame lines. And I'll leave a link below in the description um, to a camerequest.com article listing all the differences between them. Um, and if anyone's interested, I can make a full review about this specific model. I think this camera is amazing. I even sold my Leica M5 because I was just using this about 95% of the time. Safe to say, I'm super happy with it. I haven't had any problems with this. I was lucky and I bought this brand new from Photo Village in New York. Um, and this is my go-to film camera now. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you have any uh, suggestions of where I should go next, because um, I just moved out to the East Coast and I think the Northeast is absolutely beautiful. Um, so leave a comment down below if you have a suggestion for the next place I should go shoot. Thanks.